All right, guys, real talk. Uh, hmm. I don't really like to start off this way with such rage growing inside me, but uh, I have something to get off my chest here. So the other day, uh, I sent a very respectful and what I think very would be very helpful video to uh, Ocean Phoenix. If you, if you don't know who she is, she's one of the guests right now on my heart. And uh, this video that I sent her was just a little, just, you know, a heads up that she had forgotten her cement truck outside of my house. Uh, so I'll, I'll show you the video here. Now, um, she, she, she made some comment along the lines of she would forget her, her head if it wasn't attached. Uh, you know, thank, thanks for letting her know, ha ha ha, that kind of thing. Uh, well then, um, I thought that was the end of it until I log in and you know what I saw? Wait, wait, wait which way is my house? It's this way. Look, look, what is this? That is Ocean Phoenix. It's her head. It's her Minecraft skin head right there. She forgot it, like she said, on top of my base. Oh, oh. Oh yeah, perfect. So is this any way to say thank you for letting her know that her cement truck was outside of my house, running? Told you I'd forget my head next. Mm-hmm. So she did throw in a couple of potions to make them to make it disappear. Invisibility potions, I get it, very funny. But uh, you know, there's a few things that I have to say about Ocean Phoenix, and uh, hmm, this may get colorful, so I apologize. First of all, it begins with a belief. A belief that great pie is made from great ingredients. Fresh ingredients. Processed foods made in factories like these should never have a place on your table. So that's why at Laverne's Pies, Tires Fixed Also, we start with only the freshest ingredients available. Like certified organic cane sugar grown with a negative carbon footprint. Or free range eggs from happy, healthy chickens. And of course, our prize-winning certified organic carbon neutral vegan pumpkins mixed with a spice blend handed down through the generations and baked to perfection resulting in what can only be described as the best rural pie stand in Pennsylvania. And remember, each of our delicious pumpkin pies comes jam-packed with 3.14 pumpkins worth of filling to provide mathematically provable value for your money. And don't forget, if they can't fix your tires also, it's not Laverne's Pies, tires fixed also. So come give us a try at Burns Pies Tires Fixed also in the gaming district near the lion statue. We hope to see you soon. I'm, I'm just glad I got that off my chest. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry that it had to uh, take that dark turn at the end. Um, I hope you can forgive me and we can bury the hatchet and move on from here, Ocean. Um, I think once I calm down a little bit, uh, I'll get over it. I'll be fine. Uh, so, I'm out here in the gaming district because I did want to show you what I have been working on. Um, it's not just, a, not just a rant video. So, the gaming district is looking pretty pretty fancy. There's all kinds of stuff going on out here. Uh, we got like a new roller coaster there. Uh, there's some food stands. Um, yeah, all kinds of games that Ike's been working on. And I think maybe pretty soon we're going to have to take an episode and maybe come out here and play some of them. Uh, there's like an ice boat race. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to show you this too. He made this chess set. Look at these pe these chess pieces. So they're all armor stands. He's got a, a, a dark and a, and a light side. Uh, and yeah, just the different mob heads. Wow. I really like it. It's my cat. She's, she's just whining. She likes attention. Um, oh, so this is that, uh, that new pie stand that everyone's been raving about. Yeah, La Laverne something or other. Pies, tires fixed also. That's really nice. I like that. Look at the banner. It's the pie symbol. No, I'm just kidding. I made the pie stand, uh, and I had Shorty make these banners for me. Um, yeah, she did. <laughs> she did a really good job. It was her suggestion actually to have the the pie symbol instead of trying to make one that showed a little a little pie. But it seems to be popular with all the villagers around here, so that's good. Uh, but what I've been working on over here and it's not entirely finished yet, is uh, it's actually something that I've wanted to build for a little while. It's it's a melon and pumpkin farm, and uh, we really have no need for this on the server, 
But uh, what's neat about this one is it's silk touch. So instead of having melons that you then have to like put together, um, yeah, they just, they end up in here because the, the Endermen fall down and they grab them on their way and then they die and they, they drop them here in the hopper. Um, it's kind of an interesting project. I just, I've always wanted to build one and this is the first time that I've had the opportunity to do so. So uh, I busted that out. There's still some work to do. I want to do some item sorting down here to, you know, take the, the Ender Pearls out of the mix. Um, and I had a question for people, uh, if anybody knows, I'm looking for a block that I can use underneath um, the melons and the pumpkins that they will grow onto, but that Endermen can't pick up. Because as you can see, like right here, they are occasionally grabbing the dirt blocks, and once they grab a dirt block, uh, no new pumpkins will grow in that spot, so eventually the farm just won't work. So yeah, if you know, if you know what that block is, uh, please let me know <laughs> down in the comments, I'd be most appreciative. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I think next next episode we'll definitely have to get out here and uh, play some of these games. I think that's going to do it for me today. Uh, I just had a little bit to get off my chest, and I'm glad that I did. I've, I've calmed down now, and uh, I'm going to go probably dismantle that head on top of my base. <laughs> so until next time, this is Scoozy, and uh, I'm saying peace!